Hello again, beautiful people. I'm Phoenix, a consumer turned prosumer. Welcome to my channel where we share about the perks of being a prosumer. Today, we are going to talk about which Atomy products cure my dry and flaky skin. I've always had combination skin, where the T-zone is oily and the U-zone is dry. But back in September this year, the skin on my cheek turned flaky and to my horror, they started to peel off and it worsened to the extent that it's done really really badly when I apply skincare products that never burned my skin before. However, one of my partners, Angie, came to my rescue. Thank you so much, Angie. Before we get started, let's understand that there are a few causes of dry and flaky skin on the face, the main ones being weather, irritants caused by products such as scrubs, exfoliating cleansers, masks, and so on, as well as fragrances such as essential oil and perfume found in cosmetics, sunscreens, medication, or even the soaps or detergents that you are using. And in my case, the main trigger was weather. That was a time when haze polluted the air of Malaysia. The air was dry and it felt as if moisture are being sucked out straight from the pores. But too bad, I didn't pay attention to my skin. What you need to know is, the outer layer of our skin contains dead skin cells and natural oils which help it hold on to water. If this layer is damaged and moisture gets out, that's when our skin becomes flaky. So I had to change my skincare routine. I had a different daytime routine and nighttime routine then. My daytime routine was simplified because I cannot irritate my skin any further or it will develop into sensitive skin which would be really difficult to deal with in the future. So for my daytime routine, I would begin by cleansing my face with clean tap water followed by using the 3 seconds beauty water and then Adamis Rosemary Mist and after that, I would put on a few layers of sunscreen or a very thick layer of sunscreen. If you want to know which Atomy's sunscreen to use, I alternated between Atomy's white and beige sunscreen, uh, which has no specific reason. It's just due to my own preference that time. The idea here is to send lots of moisture into your skin and the sunscreen will protect your skin against UV ray damage and also the moisture from evaporation. If you are wondering why must we use two types of mist, it's simply because the two cannot replace each other. Our skin dry out in the first three seconds after washing our face. And as the name implied, the three seconds beauty water is exactly what we need for instant hydration during the first three seconds after washing the face before we get to reach our next skincare product. As for the Rosemary Mist, it is very useful for lasting hydration. The 3 seconds beauty water allows skincare products to absorb quickly into the skin, which is why we use it after cleansing and before the toner. And for Rosemary Mist, it contains functions of toner, essence and nutrition, which helps replenish your moisture and we can use it after applying skincare products. So for my nighttime routine, I begin by using the mouth cleansing water to remove makeup, sunscreen, dirt and impurities, then the foam cleanser, followed by the 3 seconds beauty water, and some from the Absolute series such as the Absolute Toner, Ampoule to repair my skin condition, Absolute Lotion to restore skin's water and oil balance, as well as the nutrition cream. The intention here is to hydrate and moisturize. We use the 3 seconds beauty water to hydrate the skin cells, making the cells plump and bouncy. The absolute lotion and nutrition cream are used to moisturize the skin by forming a protective barrier. This barrier keeps bacteria or chemicals from entering the body while keeping the nutrients from leaving the skin. So here are some prosumer tips for you. Prosumer tip number one, avoid direct contact with hands and use cotton pad to apply skincare products instead. At the beginning, I was shocked to hear that because cotton pad would absorb a lot of skincare products compared to the time when I applied them directly to the face. 
but the prosumer in me knew that it is better to, to do this instead of spending a fortune to go to the dermatologist if my skin condition gets worse. The logic is, there are a lot of bacteria residing on our hands, and we don't want to transfer them to our already fragile face. Prosumer tip number two, press gently and avoid gliding the cotton pad. This is very important to note when using the cotton pad. We must not sweep or glide the cotton pads because this action will aggravate our skin. So what we do is we put the skincare products onto a cotton pad and with gentle pressure, we apply them onto our face slowly. If you or anyone you know is suffering from the same skin problems like I did, you can try the skincare regimen and please comment below so that I know your progress. As for myself, it took about 10 days for my skin to return to its previous condition, but this might be different to you because it might take a longer or a shorter time. With that being said, I hope that the information that we compiled are useful. Please remember to like this video, share it so more people can benefit from it, and please subscribe for more awesome prosumer videos. Signing off, this is Phoenix, the prosumer.